What is up, Steamians, DTubers, DLivers, everybody out there in Crypto Nation? It's your boy Crypto Evo here. Just heading off to the gym. Had a great day of work. I hope everybody else is having a wonderful, wonderful day today. Being productive, staying on point, and keeping your mind off cryptos. Like what I was saying the other day. Keep your mind off cryptos when cryptos are down, but at the same time, just because cryptos are down doesn't mean you shouldn't be researching, doesn't mean you shouldn't be looking into Bitcoin and other coins uh, for that matter, because so many people, it's almost crazy. It's almost crazy. I have all my friends that, as you know, I've been telling them to get on board. Some of them have. Some of them are as bullish as me, which is great. But then I have other friends that are still so against cryptos and it kind of blows my mind. Um, what I was pretty much trying to tell them and I, I, I'm somebody that believes by the time the next Bitcoin halving takes place, we are gonna easily see a $100,000 Bitcoin. Now, I was telling that to my friends and to them, they were saying, well, I think Bitcoin might go down another thousand dollars more. It might go down to 5,000, blah, 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 blah. Now, I agree that we might see a little more, um, a little more of a correction, a little more resistance fighting forward, but now that might get us down to about 5,000. But I still think that the long-term trend of cryptocurrencies, blockchain, um, everything for that matter is still very, very bullish. And like what I tell my friends, we're in the early, early innings. So if you want to get this trip to the moon, like how everyone always says cryptos are going to the moon, you got to expect to have some volatility. So deal with the volatility, but what the reason why I'm telling you and I'm banging on this table right here, banging on my truck's fucking dash, is to tell people don't wait for cryptos to start going back up before you buy. Like if I told you, hey, something's gonna go up from being a um, uh, hundred dollars up to fourteen hundred dollars, what are you gonna do? You're gonna immediately buy into it. And the reason why I got that 14X number is that's what I roughly see Bitcoin doing in the next uh, less than three years. So I don't know if it's gonna be tomorrow that it's gonna rally. I don't know if it's gonna be another month from now that it's gonna rally or another year from now. But for me, I'm somebody that I would rather be in the game Walk in there instead of sitting on the sidelines and just waiting waiting to see something because if all of you remember think about how fast cryptos were going up back in December and January we were looking at Bitcoin was climbing up a thousand dollars a day some of my friends were like joking around and I was sending it to them saying, hey look look how much did you make today at work and obviously we have seen now a correction fall back and I think that's great. I think that's great because all those people that were begging, that were saying, oh, when it was at 20,000, they were saying, oh, I just wish that I had an opportunity to buy Bitcoin back at 6,000 when Evan was telling us to buy it. Well, this is that time, but everybody's so worried that it might go down another thousand, it might go down another 2,000. Like, who cares? This is the golden, golden opportunity. And all I want is I want my friends and my family and my fellow Steamians out there to really kind of sit there and realize, is this crazy kid that's doing these videos, is he right? Because if he's right, maybe I should put a little bit of money into this, into cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, Steam, any form of blockchain, and, and just let it be. Just hodl now everyone always says is hodl 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 just means if you put in any form of investment like besides being like a day trader 
you're investing for a long time. You're not somebody that's putting in your money and trying to pull it out a week later. Like, I don't know anybody that owns any stocks, but for your stocks, your bonds, any of your precious metals, your gold, did you buy it and just take it out within the next year? No. For me and a lot of other people that I know, some of these assets that people buy, stocks, bonds, precious metals, i.e. gold, silver, uh, anything like that, they keep for almost a, almost a lifetime or at least closer to retirement. So anybody that's wanting to get rich quick, it's not going to work. This is here for the long term and, and cryptos are here for the long term. Now we don't hear so many people saying, oh, cryptos might die, they might go to zero. Because I think a lot of those people that were saying cryptos are gonna go to zero, I think they, they've they seen the writing on the wall and they realize, hey, yeah, they're they're mistaken. This is, that, that isn't gonna be the case. So I think cryptos are here to stay. Buy a little bit now. Buy If it goes down 2,000, buy a little bit more. If it keeps going down, buy a little bit more. That way you are getting an average cost of your crypto same thing if it goes up keep kind of buying a little bit i think i think this year anything under a twenty thousand dollar bitcoin is cheap 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 so all right steamians dtubers youtubers get out there i know i'm always fucking keep banging the head banging the hammer on the table saying get out there and buy get out there and buy get out there and buy i almost sound a little repetitive like i'm fucking beating the horse down on the ground but steamians i'm telling you i'm telling you i personally believe this is the best time to buy right now all right well enough of me i'm about to hit the gym all right steamians DTubers. This is Evo out of here. Be easy, be good, and have a wonderful day.